Good morning, SHS. SHS. And welcome back. I'm Gracie Santiana. All right, birds. I'm Austin Kilantan. Now Austin will lead us in the pledges. Oh, oh, moment of silence, and then Austin will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I for Texas. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. Good morning, guys. Um, well, happy Cinco de Mayo. According to the History Channel, Cinco de Mayo on the 5th of May is a holiday that celebrates the date of the Mexican Army's May 5th, 1862, is also known as the Battle of Puebla Day. While it is relatively a minor holiday in Mexico, in the United States, Cinco de Mayo has evolved into a commemoration of Mexican culture and heritage, particularly in areas with large Mexican American populations, which is also, people think that Cinco de Mayo is Mexican's Independence Day. Even Mexicans that live in Mexico think that, which is crazy, because it's not. It's actually just the day of a battle. Mm, our weather will be fantastic this weekend and into the week with the high, with the high temperature of eighty, in the eighties. Saturday school is also tomorrow, from six from eight a.m. to noon. So make sure you use this opportunity to make up any hours that you need. It is also the last day for freshmen through juniors and seniors. You will have one more extra. Saturday school to get all the rest of your hours you need. It was supposed to be ended on Saturday, but they had been nice and giving you an extra week, so make sure you get that taken care of so you don't have to come to summer school. Also, our upcoming event schedule, um, May 9th is NHS induction, May 10th is Algebra 1 EOC, May 11th is Algebra 1 EOC makeup, May 12th is the math college prep final exam, and it will take place fourth and fifth period. There will be a two hour block for that. Um, on May 15th, finals will begin for all classes, and that is also the day of the Gentex and Senior Walk, which will be starting at 1 p.m. And lastly, for the last event of the school year, is the award ceremony in the morning and the scholarship finals at night, which is at 6. If you're 18, stop by at Sinton High School for the Cheek Swab, um, the Cinco de Mayo Cheek Swab, which is today. And also grab your Hawaiian shirt and your grass skirt to join the fun. The last May, the last blood drive is May 12th. This is your last chance to get all seniors to get your red cord. So make sure if you can, donate blood or get your people to donate blood for you. Oh, also with that, students and staff who donate will receive a free Kona ice voucher that is redeemable on May 17th. The senior celebration picnic is, has been rescheduled to May 11th. In the meantime, get those permission slips turned in. In softball round two of the playoffs started yesterday versus Cal Island, Lady Cats. Uh, we don't know the final score. Uh, they play again tonight in Cal Island, and if needed, the third game will be in sin. Varsity baseball plays part two of their possibility three of the their Somerset series Friday. Uh, uh, game two at 5.30 on Friday. And then game three will be, if needed, game three will be 30 minutes after. We are also getting ready for the Muscle Puff Tournament that is held on the last day of school, Thursday, May 25th. Just like the girls play Powder Puff, we need the boys to play Muscle Puff. We need 12 boys from each grade, freshmen through seniors, and we also have room for five coaches from each grade open to any SHS girl or varsity player, base, baseball player. Baseball players may not play in the game, but you can coach, so make sure you get signed up within enough time to be able to play. So if coach. you're a senior, you need to sign up. We got to win this year. It's our last year. We are also doing a great job at keeping all the doors locked and just keep them up. Keep them locked. And I'll do the trivia. I got a trivia. Okay. Who was the first person, the first team to win a Super Bowl? Do you know? Huh? I don't know. Well, I know. It was, a, it was a Green Bay Packers, I don't know what year, but I just know. You know what year? Go Cheeseheads. You know what year? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the thought of the day. Never throughout history has a man who lived a life of ease left a name worth remembering. And that was said by Teddy Roosevelt. Anybody care to elaborate or no? 
Teddy, Ro Teddy Roosevelt, offer, uh, often referred to as Teddy, or his initials TR, was an American politician, statesman, and um, he was a, a historian and a writer who served as the 26th president of the United States from 1901 to 1909. Okay. Anyways, have a great day. Go Pirates. Go Pirates.